If you have been conducting yourself as a political judge, that is, political judges will be treated politically. They will hold their office coterminous with those of the politicians. That's according to the Member of Parliament for Medina, Francis Xavier Sosu, who is also a lawyer. Question, why should this statement attract condemnation from his own guild, the Ghana Bar Association? Why should this statement threaten his license as a practicing lawyer? In the eye of the storm, is this a new reality or act in contempt of the judges? A number of journalists are facing prosecution for saying things that have been condemned. Are these prosecutions the reintroduction of criminal libel? And is this the result of a lack of regulation? These are the issues we are canvassing for you Bedding share. Stop the corruption you smell and see. The Constitution in Article 286 prohibits illicit acquisition of wealth by public officers. It commands forfeiture and confiscation of such assets which cannot be traced to income, gifts, loan, inheritance of earning very little and have no other legitimate sources of income can afford $140,000 private V8 vehicles. They can build mansions. They or their related businesses within one term, four year political cycle. Those who appointed them with full knowledge of their previous and current circumstances pretend not to smell or see the daylight thievery. One most effective way to check the petty and grand corruption sorts is to activate and expand this law on unexplained wealth with clear rules. Those who claim to fight corruption have always known this. Let them act. It is refreshing to hear Professor Stephen Adair declare that, quote, anyone in authority who says he wants evidence on corruption is blind, unquote. We in Ghana, in Africa, sure need a big coup on public corruption to save this country. Listen to compel to act with integrity, first by yourself, and then demand better commitment to protecting the public purse. Corruption is a vile disease that sucks and drains the health out of something good. Corruption is a virus. It's so potent it leaves its host sick, lethargic and unable to realize and accomplish all that a well person can. Where corruption thrives, poverty and not prosperity thrives. Wealth is grabbed into the greedy, grubby hands of those who get fat on the toil and labor of good people. Corruption benefits only temporarily those who participate in it. Everyone on. you need to know that a corrupt person is stealing from you. Corruption is filthy work and despicable acts of treachery done under the table and behind closed doors. Corruption is a disgusting shame. Corruption keeps a nation back from true development and from progress. Wise investors steer clear of a corrupt environment. They would rather put their resources into a place where the playing field of opportunity is equal for all. How many wonderful development projects have been lost because the investors didn't want to do business in a swamp of evil? 
When those great projects go to another nation or to some other place, we all lose. Believe me when I tell you that corruption steals from you, it steals from all of us. Corruption plunders the nation's wealth. Corrupt people compromise on truth, equity, and fairness, choosing instead to feed off the short-term benefits of crookedness, exploitation, and financial perversion. Corruption is not just a personal matter. It's a culture. It's a way of life, not just for individual people, but for nations in order to take over the assets of the nation that they've invested into. They will provide financial loans to a nation for the much needed infrastructure and they will do it with assets that they provide. They will sign contracts by lining the pockets of rotten government officials who participate in this kind of corruption and are then held hostage by their own deceit and greed. Corruption is nothing less than a form of theft and national robbery. A corrupt person steals from everyone in society. We all lose when corruption is rampant. Those who participate in corruption have chosen evil over good, lies over truth, and personal gain over well-being of all. To be corrupt means to be rotten. When meat is corrupt, it's rotten, and it's place in the community. A corrupt person should be jailed in order to protect society from the vile deeds of the corrupt person. Government should be protecting us from the foul results of corruption instead of being the proponents and participants in corruption. When corruption is systemic, when it's a culture and a way of life, when corruption thrives, it destroys the health of the community and nation. Now, let me tell you something, Paul says. People who love money will do almost anything to get it. Those who choose to stand up against corruption, you need to know that we're going to be involved in a war. We will be threatened, vilified, intimidated, marginalized, and ridiculed. These kind of people who stand up against corruption will often feel alone as if they are the and decide to do something about it. Africa needs to raise up a new generation of corrupt free young people who together and in support of one another build a beautiful new corrupt free Africa. We need a new generation of young people to fill the places of leadership who think differently and are motivated not by greed but a genuine sense of servanthood to the people of our community. The church exists to call the nation back to righteousness. We are here to lift the standard of good that God requires for prosperity and health to flourish across the land. You can do something about corruption. Act with integrity first. And that's my take. And the show is brought to you by the candidate sponsorship of Bank of Africa, as strong as a group and close as a partner. MTN Services, your comprehensive eye care services provider for 31 solid years. We lead properties, home is where one starts. CBG, we stand with you. Edlum, housing, where spacious homes cost less. Duraplast, where Duraplast goes, water flows. And Rehoboth Properties, quality housing for all of free speech and press criminalized by lack of regulation, political judges in the eye of the storm, new reality or acts in contempt of the judges. We'll be right back. <laughs>